See that? See what? It's meant to glide. Like Tarblin Dean? It's fine. Well, that cupboard up there, you've got to yank it with all your might. It's an accident waiting to happen. Oh, it's easy for you. You're a fella. There's nothing wrong with that door. There's nothing wrong, full stop. They're playing for time. Dream kitchen, you said. We have fitted the kitchen you ordered. It's time to pay up. We spent more on this kitchen than any car we've ever had. You haven't spent a bean yet. I want me money. Disappointment doesn't even begin to cover it. Th them handles aren't what we picked. I can show you the paper what you signed off on them. We're at cross purposes, mate. I'm not your mate. Twisted iron, I said. Gothic. And then you changed your mind. And then I changed it back again. We've got rights. So have I. The right to be paid for a job well done. It's a botched job. Mr Windass, there is nothing wrong with this kitchen. If your wife's gone off it, it isn't my problem. I want the kitchen I ordered. If you'd like different handles, I'll sort it. After you've paid me the seven grand I'm owed. If you're going to play silly beggars, you, you can do one. Look, he's not a registered charity, all right? He's running a business. Go on, get out! Dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Eddie! You've burned them, haven't you? Joe's thinking of changing the name of the business. Kitchens for scumbags, what do you reckon? Sling your hook, lad. Oh, I think it's got legs. Well, speaking of legs, can I just say congratulations on your miracle recovery? Well done. Uh, for your information, he has good days and bad days. Will you inform the benefits office the happy news? Don't push it. Me? I'm the one sitting pretty. Well, sitting, anyway, and you. Seven grand kitchen, and what's it cost you? Ten mugs of tea? Look, things are a bit tight at the moment. Shut it! Well, we're not paying! There's nothing wrong with this kitchen, all right? It's, it's chavvy and horrible, OK, but it's well made and well fitted. Are you going to pay up or what? Put it down on Palump. You can't even reach the worktop. <laughs> Seven thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? It's not going back now, is there? That's it now. Can we get going? Hang on. Just need to make the finishing touches. Oh, no. Graham! <laughs> Flaming out. What? And Bustability. <laughs> it's the only long word I know. <laughs> Alright, okay. Come on now. Uh, we don't want three fire engines turning up, do we? Three? Yeah, that's how many it took to put his mum's house out. <laughs> I've found my skills in since then. I can do small if you want small. No. Yeah, we do. Aye. I'm the god of hellfire, <laughs> and I bring you... Ah! Ah! All we need now is marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> this thing the Romans did, invent central heating. <laughs> yeah, can we get going now? Oh.
What's going on? The back! Bridget! Oh! Ah! My kitchen! What have you done? My kitchen! What the flaming hell's happening? <laughs> Hiya. Uh, bit of a situation, but don't worry, I'm across it. I am very across it. I'm sorry, my mum, she's just uh, emotional. Right, I know the feeling. It's turned off. Yeah. Thought you'd be well in by now. We've got ourselves one loony chum squatter. And whose fault is that? What? Oh, everything you touch, it turns to... Oh, I might have known this would be my fault. This is some global warming. Who's this? Son of loony tunes. Hey. Well, let's just kick it in. Oh, I have no front door. Got the shame of it. Go on, son. I'm with you in spirit. No, don't. Don't, please. Please, 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 please. Mum! Will you just come outside, please? Can you not hear desperation in my voice? We've got a contract! We've got terms and conditions! Oh. This is not the face of a nappy woman! I'm sorry. Oh, don't sweat it, man. Look, just give us a little bit more time. I'll get her out. You've got an hour. Oh, thank you. If she's not out by one o'clock, I'm unleashing the beast. You heard your mother. Look, right, I'll get her out, even if I have to drag her by her hair. That's not a bad idea, that. Kissy crutch. No, no, whoa, whoa! Oh. Good lad! Oh, good lad! Be strong, son. What have you done? You mad cow. Sticks and stones. You've got to search for the hero inside yourself. Search for the secrets inside. Watch where you put your hands, you filthy beggar. Search for the hero inside yourself until you find the key to your life. Never mind the key to your life. Where's the key to Mel's cups? We'll have to do it the hard way. To pop my chainsaw, yeah? It's in the transit. Mum! Key! There wasn't one. <gasps> And start fumigating. That palace is spotless. Uh, the grease on that. <laughs> you are lucky I can't knock you into next uh, week. Mum, shut your face. I dread to think what your bathroom's like. Eddie, phone Kim and Aggie. Oh. Talk about fighting fair. I've got another door on me arm. And I've got a front door with a big hole in it. Oh. See the new neighbours of Landy? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get a wink of sleep in that Oh, Mom. no way, poor Dazza. Mum! Get off me! I'm sure they'll find a bed for you at the funny farm, especially if you tip up looking like that. Get off me! <laughs> Judas! Will you give over? Uh, a minute, white coats will be here in a minute. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. What's wrong? Will somebody tell me what's going on? You heard the lady. I can't believe it. Van. Oh, no way I'm going to be next door to those scumbags. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Phone the landlord, tell him we've changed our minds. We've got to live here now, we've signed a contract. Yeah, like that means anything to you people. What do you mean, you people? Don't talk to my dad like that, all right? You signed a contract with us. You only did half a job. We could have built the Taj Mahal in the time we spent in Hang your kitchen. Hang on a minute, don't tell me these are the yeah. people. 
Refused to pay me bill, swiped all me gear. Well, I've got news for you. This is a decent street. Decent people live here. So put your scummy gear back in your scummy van and get out of here. You're only doing this deliberately just to wind us up. What? Do you lay one finger on him and the cops be here like a shot? She's right. Best we all just calm down. Why don't I put the kettle on? Does she watch how you talk to my family? You being such upstanding citizens? Ah, you know not about us. We know you ripped out my kitchen. I'll rip some else out in a minute. After breaking and entering my home? Who says? I'll come off it. We know it with you lot. Prove it. Every time the coppers nab you, which is probably twice a day, that's what you say, isn't it? Prove it, prove it. You rip their kitchen out first. You get inside. Well, he got evicted because of you lot. It wasn't yours. You hadn't paid for it. You threatened my dad. He threatened me mum. That's how all the trouble started when he started shouting the odds, scared the life out of me. Oh, frightening women. You had no intention of paying for it. Your sort never do. I've had enough of this! You are asking for a good kick in me, seriously. Leave it, Gary! They're not worth it. Jobs a good un. Look at us, all our worldly goods and a few black bin bags. You've got your knickknacks and your mementos. I'm 41, Ed. I should have more to show for life than this. Well, I'm not the materialistic type. It's a good job, isn't it, because we've got now. And I am materialistic. I want a nice new settee and a whacking plazy screen TV. Don't oh, get on there, can we admit, This is meant to be a new start. Oh, yeah, fat chance of that. Moving next door to people that hate us. Normally it takes at least a week before that happens. It's not a joking matter, Gary. I can't believe you've pulled a stunt like this. Are you completely stupid? Uh, don't look at me. Uh, I'll be uh, off now. I'll uh, leave you three to settle in. Yeah. I wanted to show that weedy little git who threatened you that we mean business, yeah? Great. So we're labelled from day one. I don't know whether I should bother unpacking this lock. Sounds like we might be moving on again at this rate. No oh, way, love. We're not moving for another year minimum, I promise. Oh, no. Look. Did you pack this box? I told you to be careful. Look, it's broken. It's only a tile. It's not the point. I was going to put it up outside. It's a nameplate for a flat in Iamonte. You can't put it up outside a semi in Weatherfield. It was an apartment. I loved it. I know you did, love. We should never have come back to England. I had no choice. We've had nothing but bad luck since we've come back. Well, things are looking up now, love, I promise. You two, carry on unpacking. You're dead right. They've got a vendetta against me, and thanks to you, they're living next door. Uh, I've told you it's got nothing to do with me, mate. Yeah, well, if I were you, I'd just make sure your CCTV was switched on. You cheeky little swine. Do you sell glue? Mm -hmm. Oh, for your gaddy, is it? Super glue. I want two tubes, please. Two? Mm. One to clamp his gob shut and the other for this. <sighs> so, settling in all right? Oven's got no door and the door's got no glass. Well, not to do with me. You're the landlord's son. Oh, yeah, but... So get it sorted, or else we do it ourselves and knock it off the rent. Oh, and there's a patchy damp in the box room. Could cause emphysema if it's not sorted. Well, speak to agent. I hate estate agents. They're all stuck up. Two. What are you doing? Well, I'm not paying for it unless I know it works. With you, Gail. It is Gail, isn't it? Yeah. I'm Anna. Look, this is mad. We hardly know each other. I know you're a windass. All oh, right, so that's it. We're written off. 
talk about judging a book by its cover. That and the fact that your lad stole my kitchen. Look, we've got a choice. We can carry on brawling in the street, giving each other evils, or me and you can sit down like grown-ups and sort this mess out. At least you got a new kitchen. This is dead smart. Thought you'd come round to apologise. It was your son who started this, you know. He's very scary when he's riled. Yeah, well, if you paid your bill on time. you never been late with a phone bill. Yes. Bet BT didn't send round a thug with a great big crowbar in his hand. Look, I don't condone what David did. We were waiting for an insurance payout at the time. I knew there'd be some sob story. My Eddie had a fall in Ayamante, Spain. Oh. He's due six grand, but it's taking forever for it to come through. I know we shouldn't have started spending it, but you're Joe. It's a very persuasive salesman. Oh, so it's Joe's fault? Me and you are in the same boat. We didn't know the half of what was going on. And if we had, we'd have sat down and sorted it out over a cup of tea. Speaking of which, that kettle just boiled. I think we're very alike, you and me. Well, I'm not sure about that. You carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. I bet that lad of yours has given you plenty of sleepless nights. One or two. My mother had a saying, lads had drowned him at birth. Well, he's calmed down since he met Tina. We've moved five times in the past two years. Really? Mm. So you might not stay around here too long? No, I want to settle down. I wanted to settle down in Ayamante. But that's another story. Well, right. let's get the tea on. We have an apartment. I love to say in the word apartment, the master bedroom had an ensuite balcony with views over the marina, but that's another story. What meant to be? That's a great pity. Mm. Eddie knows he's cocked up. He's trying to make amends. That's why he ordered that blooming kitchen to get round me. I'm so glad we're having this conversation, aren't you? Well, no harm in being civil, this life. Is that pub at the end of the road any good? It's very nice, yeah. Why don't we go for a drink? Your family and my family. We can knock the lads' heads together. E I'm not sure that they... About get... half seven. Oh, go on, you know you want to. Oh, I think me and you are going to be big pals. Well, I um, tend to keep myself to myself. You fussy, like me. Do you know what? I think we've clicked. So listen, I'm going to see you later on. Yeah? Are you kids? The pub. Crazy. They shafted me. I don't want to socialise with them. Look, we've tried things your way and we've tried things David's way, so now we'll try things my way, okay? I can't believe we're doing this. We can't let things just carry on the way they are. No, but we could force them off our street. And you really think that's going to happen? Show any sign of weakness, they walk all over you. It, well, they're here now, so I don't want you saying or doing anything to upset them, okay? Hi. Hi, Anna, over here. A long chat this afternoon, didn't we, Gail? Yes, we did. And we decided that there's been mistakes made on both sides, but neither of us wants the bad feeling to carry on, do we, Gail? No, we don't. So we're going to make a fresh start, wipe the slate clean. So, Eddie, Joe, check out. What? <laughs> Eddie, do it, Joe. Now, David. Gary. <sighs> Come on. Shake hands. This is off its head, this is. David! No way, Mum. I'm not shaking his hand. I hate his guts. The feeling's mutual. Look, if you lot want to play happy families, that's fine. You can count me out. Middle Street wasn't an alien. You don't know what you're talking about. Of course she was an alien. What would you know? Sigourney Weaver was an alien. It was Meryl Streep. I remember the red hair. Red hair? You're on your own, yeah. Anyway, never mind, alien. Get down to that cab firm. Tell them 
that you don't mind working nights, your licence is clean and you're a people person without being overly chatty. I don't mind working nights, though. No, you don't. You just want me out there in the dead of night risking my neck so that you can lie in bed like a starfish. I want a new suite. It's all right, is that? I'd like an L-shaped one in battered brown leather. <sighs> Have you seen Piccadilly Gardens at three o'clock in the morning? Pimps, button men, old women with carrier bags full of newspapers and tea courses on their heads. You'll fit right in. <sighs> Who played the main woman in Alien? Well, it's a gone big, aren't it? Eddie insisted it was Meryl Streep. <laughs> Meryl Streep? In Alien? No. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they won't listen, will they? I mean, only complete idiot to think that Meryl Streep starred in Alien. <laughs> Meryl uh, Streep. All right, all right. Anyway, thanks for lending us this. Eddie dropped ours downstairs. Well, at least he was doing it. He won. It was in his way, so we booted it. Does, um, Gary ever hoover? Incessantly. Makes all the beds, dust, does the ironing. No. No, he's right. What's that? I lent it off next door. When you're fixing ours? There's a new belt. I'll put our len on it. And by the way, it was Sigourney Weaver in Alien. I was right. <laughs> Meryl Streep. You said it was Meryl Streep. Don't come that with me, Edward Windass. Accept it when you're wrong. How did you get on at streetcars? The gaffer wasn't in. The woman said to come back tomorrow to have a word with him. What woman? The brunette who works on the switch. Tarty piece with a chest. Keeps coming on to all the drivers. It's supposed to be a proper little home wrecker. Well, I'm sure you'll resist her and vice versa. There were eight of them stood outside. No jobs on. I said quiet today, is it, lads? No, they said it's always like this. One of them had a copy of the Racing Post out on the bonnet. All the others were gathered round it. Were they now? There's a... Gambling culture there, apparently. You must think that I was born yesterday. What? <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, love, old Gary didn't keep you awake last night. Well, actually... When he's had a few whales, he waxed great fights of the 70s on the video full volume. Times have been awoke to the thriller in Manila. Yeah, well, I think I'd better be opening up. This is me man, Audrey, Anna, Eddie, new neighbours. Well, I surmised as much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle drum's been beating him. Not as loudly as your telly at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, I'll have a word, but I keep a bag of cotton wool balls by your bed just to be out safe, sad. Listen, Audrey, love, if you want in another pair of hands, I'm red up with the old scissors. Hmm? I do. Are ready? When he runs a comb through, he can look quite dashing. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, would you mind picking that up, please? Well, I'm sorry, love, I've not been down since 93. I don't. There's a bin there, right? I'll see you both. You well and truly ruined that for me. I only dropped a tab end, woman. It's not my fault it, she's got a rod up her backside. You'll have the toe end of mine up yours if you don't get round to that cab office. Don't come back without a job. Five minutes means 20 minutes. You know, it's all part of the game, isn't it? That's right. Can I help you? I just popped in on the off chance you need drivers, but uh, what with the credit crunch and all, I expect you laying off, not taking on, so um, I'll be on my way. I, I'm sorry to have wasted uh, your uh, phone. Uh, hey, we always need drivers. For the sake of my soul, if nothing else. You got any experience, mate? Ah, well, went a long time ago, man. You used to have to carry a bucket and a shovel. You got the proper paperwork there? Uh, I suppose. Uh, We've just moved out. I don't think I could put my hand on it. Well, as long as it's somewhere. Are you uh, driven around here before? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, the thing is, I'd want paying cash in hand, and I know a lot of firms don't like it. So. Uh, yeah, us included. Look, I'm sorry, mate. I don't know. Hey, look, we need drivers. Why don't we take him on trial until Lloyd gets back? <sighs> All right, listen. Uh, we'll sort the payment issue out if we decide to take you on, but. Uh, why don't you come in the morning, then we'll sort you out. 
Hey. On trial, no longer the first time. It's a non-starter. I don't like cashing out. Well, you're in, that's the main thing. They can't go out without national insurance details. All you've got to do is drag your feet. Talking of which, you're meant to be on disability, not come dancing. I didn't know you worked here. I told you she had it upstairs. I'm a receptionist, not a doctor. We want to register. Oh, you uh, need to fill in one of these forms. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, girl, love. With Eddie being on the sick, we need to get him fixed up pronto. Could you get him in for a medical next week? What? We need to get things moving. Sorry, my ears are still ringing from last night. What was it you wanted? What I said about the cotton wool bars earlier, you won't be needing them. to be up there. I've never fallen off a ladder in my life. I'm talking about the gale seizure. She could tell the doctor them bangers are incapacity benefits. I'm doing her a favour, putting these up next to her. She'll get the pleasure of them. All right, Gail. <laughs> Not too bad. You? Nice to have a few lights at Christmas, isn't it? A few, yeah. Evening, Gail. <laughs> Didn't know you were a handyman. When the mood takes him. <laughs> Any little jobs you need doing? Got Joe for that, thank you very much. Oh, of course. Providing his tools don't go missing again. Of a shed to waste them. But I don't want them. You don't want them? I'd like you to take them down, please. You'll have to cut Rudolph's nose off. And I'd like you to turn that music off. You said you liked them before. Well, I don't think I said that. It's not about liking them. They're on someone else's property, you didn't even ask. Well, I wouldn't mind if you put them on ours. No, me. I'd be well chuffed. And it's not costing you a penny in electric. How are we supposed to get to sleep with those lights flashing through the curtains all night? I'd like them taken down. I'm not sure I could do that. Not in a ladder in the dark. You put them up in the dark. Yeah, but if my hip starts playing up... If you don't take them down, I will. I tell you what, we'll turn them off when it gets late. Yeah, what, what time do you go to bed? And we'll keep the music off as well. How's that for a compromise? You can't chop his nose off. It's the best beat. Oh, go on, Gail. It's Christmas. What do you say? It's wonderful people I have ever met. I'm coming out so you better get this party started. What the hell do you think you're doing? We're here for the party. Afternoon, you said. Yeah, after lunch, I meant. You said instead of. We could have gone round to your mother's with Gary. I, I thought you were a buffy. I've got, I've got the wrong end of the stick. Well, now you've got the right end. See you later. Uh, we've no in. Instead of making dinner, I've spent all morning making stuff for your do. Perhaps we could park ourselves on your sofa, girl, and have a pick at these to keep our hunger at bay until the party. Why don't you just go home? No. Join us. With plenty of food, I'll get some plates and cutlery. Gail, no! This is what Christmas is all about, helping one's neighbour. <laughs> Bring for little one. You look a bit pushed for space. I'll have mine over here on the tree. Have you got the remote control, Andy? Mm. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas! Come in, come in, let me take your coats. Okay. You had a nice day. Lovely. How's Gail doing? <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas. Um, is Gary here? Is that his grand's love? He'll pop in later. I'll fix you a drink. Oh. Well, it's, it's getting cocky with me, I swear. I won't be responsible. That's exactly what you'll be, because you're the bigger man. <laughs> I can manage. I'm not having it, Gary Wind. I see you. No way. So what are you going to do? Cause a scene? Ruin another Christmas? 
See what they're doing? This is meant to be his birthday, our day. Nobody wants them here. They are here. So green bear it. I am. <laughs> I'll get it. You will keep it to yourself. Ah, sure business. But if I was you, I'd say something. How do? Seconds out, round one. Hey, love. Yeah, no. ah. Mwah. I this plenty of skin in the kitchen. I never thought you were going to get here. I cannot stop thinking. Right, any chance of a beer? I'm spitting feathers here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go and get you one. All right, Pops. <laughs> Ignore him, Kevin. Oh, I think the atmosphere's just took a turn for the worst. Oh, right, sorry about that, love. You know what I'm like after I've had sprouts. No, the mood idiot. Nip home and get their presses pronto. Oh, oh. oh. So you got any plans New Year's Eve? Not yet, no. I was talking to the lady. Now, I know a lot of doormen in town, so we can get in most places, like. Oh, could we? Great. <laughs> you not got a cold one? Yeah, yeah, I'll go and see. Fetch! So what you get a girlfriend this Christmas? A squeaky toy. What girlfriend? I'm young, free and single, me. Got an eye on someone, though. to thank Gail and Joe for your hospitality. And as a token of our goodwill, we'd like to give you these, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, that's for you. A tool belt? <laughs> Is this a joke? Oh, we saw it be handy like. You steal me tools, you take me livelihood away and you give me a tool belt. Yeah, it's very kind of you, Anna. Thank you. David, put some more music on. Outside with that. Fine. Fancy one. I don't smoke. Who said out about smoking? You know where I am. Oh, no. David! Leave him alone, you tart. What? I said outside. <laughs> you want to be careful, pal. Because your face is writing checks that your fist can't cash right now. Look, just leave Tina yeah, alone, all right? She's not interested. Does she say that? Because she's telling me something different. What? I know women. You want to upgrade. And she's aching for it, mate. Fine. I'm going to have her. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and when we're talking about freaks, I'm not the one who went out of the kidnapper twice my age. Flapping mouth. All I wanted was a bit of breathing space. One day, a relative peace and sanity with my family. But no, you had to turn it into a free for all. You barge in and take over, talking, talking, talking about nothing, less than nothing. I'm not finished. Nobody here can stand the sight of you, any of you. And I don't want you here now, tomorrow, ever. So sling it off. Well, if that's how you feel, I'll be taking on my volivants. Oh, you can have them, mate, with my blessing. <laughs> There you are. How about some mini Scott Jigs and all? Hey, go! Hey, don't! Yeah, yeah. You're feeling a bit peckish and all, eh? That's it. Junior's got the right idea. You want some more, do you? Come on. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You better go. Go back to play me, not getting anyone blocking up. Come on. Come on. I think it's time we went and all. You, oh. You know where we are. 